Welcome back. Now you heard the good relationship advice. Now, here's for the bad. As a host of Undisputed Facts, I just want to say, you just got to be smooth like that. That's what I'm going to say. Cheat. And if you feel bad about it, that means you actually love her. You feel me? I'm not saying I cheat, but you know what I'm saying? Cheat, though. And see what it's like. Test the waters. <laughs> you heard it here first. Tens up or above, always. But uh, in Florida, when we go to Florida this year, hey, a four is the new eight. Now, you heard it here first. We got the good, the bad, and the ugly earth. So if you want more of this series about relationship advice, go to our Instagram page at brownsburg.tv and vote on the polls. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, March 11th. I'm Josiah Bohr. And I'm Anna Sevilla, and here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the 147 newest members of the BHS National Honor Society, who were recognized at the induction ceremony on Wednesday night. Juniors and seniors qualify for NHS based on their leadership, scholarship, character, and service. Cool. And congratulations to the BHS DECA students who competed at state earlier this week. 30 students qualified for the International Career Development Conference in Atlanta, Georgia later this year. Marie Kingery was elected as the Region 5 President for Indiana DECA as well. Did you know that we were experiencing a critical blood supply shortage in Indiana? The Spring Blood Drive will take place at DHS on Thursday, March 17th. Sign-ups will be during lunch today in the Senior Academy and Monday in the main building. Bulldogs for Life is hosting a baby item drive March 14th through the 18th. All items collected will be donated to the Women's Care Center, a nonprofit that helps young pregnant women in need. They need diapers, wipes, baby toys, stuffed animals, baby blankets, and gently used baby clothes. If you want to help, you can drop off items in Ms. Navio's room A2240 through Friday the 18th. The BHS Spanish Club will be meeting next Tuesday, March 15th. The meeting will take place after school in Mrs. Walker's room, B1405. It should last until 3.30. Please see Mrs. Walker for more information. The BHS Best Studies Club will be meeting next Tuesday, March 15th, after school until 4 p.m. They will be working with the National Art Honor Society to help create a spring mural. That meeting will take place in Mrs. Woodcock's room C2202. Students taking the SAT at Brownsburg East Middle School this Saturday morning need to enter through door number 7 at 7.45 a.m. Testing will begin promptly at 8 a.m. Students need to have their photo ID, admission ticket, a number two pencil, and a calculator for testing. The Hendricks County College and Career Fair and Apprenticeship and Trades Fair will be held together this year at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds on March 10th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. This will be a great opportunity to help students in narrowing down their paths for after high school. The BHS History Club will be meeting after school on Thursday, April 7th, in the main building lab to work with their plastic bag mattress project to support the homeless. Please see Ms. Crone with any questions. Seniors, the 2022 BHS local scholarships are now available. The deadline to apply is Wednesday, March 16th at 11.59 p.m. To apply, visit the link below. That link along with instructions for applying can also be found on the Team 2022 website. If you have questions, contact Ms. Martin. Tomorrow, BHS will host the Bulldog Spectacular Choir Competition. And I got some more information on it. The choir department has been very busy recently. I should know. I'm in it. But we have one last event before we go off to state. What Bulldog Spectacular is, it's basically a choir competition. So it's made up of um, two different divisions for show choir. We have what's called the large or the championship division. So you have a univoice uh, competition. Then you also have a mixed choir competition. And then we take the top placing um, show choir divisions and they perform in finals. This event takes place all day tomorrow and general admission is $15. This is the biggest fundraiser for the show choirs and actually for all of the choirs. Um, students get discounts on their choir fees for the following year and then it also funds pretty much all of our big projects. So if you've seen all the fancy video equipment in our shows, we've been able to fund that entirely through Bulldog Spec. It also covers expenses like um, getting our adult band to travel with us. If we go over budget for costumes, we have that rainy day fund that can help us out with that too. There's also a lot of preparation that goes into this event. We are getting ready for Bulldog Spectacular. The students are setting up pretty much all day Friday. So we bring in a company from Chicago to turn the gym into a portable stage. So we're setting that up all day on Friday before the event. We have to set up all of our classrooms throughout the building to host all these schools. We want to make the school look as professional and as hospitable as we can. Be sure to check out Bulldog Spec and support all the choirs there. Josiah Bohr, BHS TV. Good luck to the choir department. We hope you have a spectacular show. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Arabella, what do you have for us today? 
Hey guys, we are still awaiting most of the spring sports seasons to get underway at BHS, and they will be starting soon. The club lacrosse seasons have started though, and the girls already had their first contest. The dogs were at rebuff on Wednesday night and came up short of the Braves. However, with lots of changes for their team, the future is looking bright. The team is adjusting well and looks forward to continuing to improve. Their next match is on Tuesday at Zionsville. The boys club lacrosse team will have their season opener on Monday. Good luck to both teams. As spring sports approach, here's a look at the start dates for each of our teams. The track and field teams will begin their outdoor season on March 24th when they host Westfield. The softball team will also start their regular season on the 24th when they travel to Hamilton Southeastern. The baseball team will travel to Lawrence North to take on the Wildcats on April 5th. The boys golf team hosts the Brownsburg Invitational on April 9th. The girls tennis team will travel to Westfield for their first action of the season on April 12th. And the unified track and field team is set to head to Plainfield on April 19th. Good luck to all of our spring athletes as the start of their seasons draw closer. The boys club volleyball team will have their first match on Tuesday at East Middle School. All students with an ID get in for free. JV starts at 6 with varsity to follow. And good luck to the track and field teams who will compete in the HCC Indoor Championships tonight at DePaul. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Arabella. Now let's check in with Jeremiah for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hello, my favorite people. After some warmer temperatures recently, we're going to see a weekend that looks like the typical winter coming up. Today, the high is 35 with a low of 12, and it will be cloudy all day. The snow should be done by this afternoon, though. Now, Saturday, the high is only 25 with a low of 19. It'll be partly cloudy and windy with a slight chance of not meatballs, but snow showers. And on Sunday, you can think about the weather being up in the 50s with a low of 36. Strong wind gusts are likely, but we shouldn't see any more precipitation. Now, you have a great weekend, and back over to you guys. Thanks, Jeremiah. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Don't forget that there won't be an episode of VHS TV News on Monday due to our state conference at UND. But we will see you on Wednesday. Hello, I'm Governor Eric Holcomb. Hoosiers, hospitals near you need blood to help trauma victims, cancer patients, and people awaiting life-saving surgeries. So if you can donate blood, please do. It's safe and you'll save lives and help your neighbors in their greatest hours of need. Please be a life giver for someone today.